Hey there, chat. How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ruin, and I run the place. Did you miss me? I bet you missed me. Welcome back to your turn to die. We are getting ready to continue our class trial, if you will. We're sitting here in the second main game, and man, oh man, have things been cooking. So, we've got this. Okay, let's get this all straight. The top row of the table is what cards everyone had to start with. Those, fr uh, th those further to the right had more tokens to spend, in broad strokes at least. The next row is what cards everyone had after the first trade. Below that is the, uh, below that is after the second trade, after the third trade, and so on and so forth. The bottom row is after the fifth trade. In other words, the rolls they ended up with. Of course, this is all guesswork. I'll rework it if a new information comes up. Let's see. Uh, let's see. The first trade. Ponder first trade. There's no question that KG initiated the first trade. My commoner and KG's keymasters were swapped. No room for doubt, I think. All right. Ponder second trade. The commoner Kutaro started with apparently got changed to the sacrifice. At the time, I was with KG in the first floor kitchen, listening to Miley and someone else talk. Hmm. Yeah, I remember this. Okay. Third trade performed by Kitaro. I can't believe Kitaro would send me the sacrifice. Time-wise, it happened when we were sharing the laptop. The fourth trade. Not much information. We don't know anything yet. It happened when we were in Saplin's doll room, looking for Ranger's ship. Here, my sacrifice was swapped with someone's commoner. Don't tell me so really took the sacrifice from me. Okay. So, according to these guys, they've said they were the commoner. They said he was the commoner. Hold on. Uh, cancel that. According to this, we said that Gin was a commoner. Sarah is now commoner. Apparently, uh, Alice has said he was a commoner, and so has claimed the sacrifice. So has probably claimed this, hoping that his wild... Uh, hmm, what's the word? That his wild card nature would make people think, he's not the sacrifice, he's trying to mess with us, and would make them compelled to vote for him, if he is the sacrifice. Alright, everyone's final notes. Kitaro confessed to being the Keymaster. No reason for the Unchosen to lie, so I believe it. I'm curious about So's initial sacrifice confession. It could be a lie as usual, but... Hmm. Okay. At the time of the third trade, I was searching the first floor alone, meow. I was off doing all this stuff by myself. Well, I wanted to see the laptop, meow. What stuff did you do exactly? It's not relevant right now, Wolf. No, that is relevant. There is no, it's not relevant. First trade, second trade. Third trade. So the third trade is when Kitaro gave over the Keymaster. Okay. I shall tell you, the third trade occurred when everyone was sharing the laptop. Remembering that photo on the laptop still makes my heart quake. But what's important now is that card trade. <laughs> In the end, it was mutual betrayal. Cube Taro Hamburger, despite being right there, he traded his sacrifice to you. Such a cold-blooded man, don't speak of bonds to me. Huh? Something strange here. Yeah, Kitaro did not trade the sacrifice to us because he was at that event. 
Gitaro, why aren't you talking? <laughs> he's not talking. Because he's lying to us. The little weasel. Little daggone weasel. Ha 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 versus conflict. There we go. Why won't you deny it, Kitaro? What? I mean, you need a ring-up box to trade. If he used one on the spot, shouldn't we have seen him do it? What could he be hiding? Oh. Here we go. You can't escape me, Kutaro Burgerberg! Nope. Yes, you can. Apparently. Oh. Did I fail? Yay! Be as silent as you want. It's no use. I... I spit it all out, Kitaro. I meant to cooperate with Sarah, with everyone. But I got used for convenience. I'm pathetic. A pathetic adult. The third trade, my sacrifice being sent to Sarah. It wasn't me, it was So's doing. Say what? I don't know what you're talking about. So knew. He knew I had the sacrifice. What? When everybody was sharing the laptop, So wasn't going to use the toilet. He went to use a ring-up box to trade my sacrifice in Sarah's Keymaster. Don't know a thing about that. Oh, wait a second. He chose two other people and made them trade? You can do that? It must be possible, huh? Hm. So you can say that with confidence. So, isn't it about time you confess? <laughs> Tell us your real reason for sharing the laptop. <laughs> Such a deeply suspicious individual, KG. <laughs> ah, discussion stuck in equilibrium. How about I hear the truth from your mouth? <laughs> about what? Between the statements these two give, I should either affirm correct ones or deny incorrect ones. Kutaro couldn't do the third trade. I was on the toilet, so I couldn't either. Uh, let's affirm he couldn't do the third trade. Exactly, because he was with us. The question is, how did you know the sacrifice? Sheesh, just stop rolling ahead with assumptions that I knew, huh? Did he learn about Kutaro's sacrifice via hacking? Couldn't I just take a peek to do that? Let's see. Mm. No, I don't think... No, he didn't have... He, he hadn't hacked into the system yet. By the time that the... Right, he did not hack into the system before that happened, so I think we actually deny via hacking. I think. No, I doubt even so could do such a thing. Hmm, is there any other way? There should be some other means. Oh, curses. Uh... No, it's... I think we deny this. No, peeking would be impossible. Oh yeah, then I guess I wouldn't have... couldn't have done it. Is my suspicion cleared? I was wrong. Dag nabbit! And as a condition for his trade, he showed so his sacrifice card. It's natural to think that. I understand, okay. I thought I was... I thought I was having to click through because it was wrong again. He was desperate to trade... to trade with so for the laptop. 
And as a condition for his trade, he showed so his sacrifice card. It's natural to think that. Such an inact an act of imagination, Miss Sarah. How about you use that imagination to consider what their negotiation was like? Futaro started to negotiate outside So's bedroom door. Huh? Were you watching or what? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Man, I don't know. It has been so long since I've dealt with any of this nonsense. Mm, let's affirm. Yes, even So's already recognized that fact. Aha, that was right. How did So react to Kitara's proposition? Good, okay. He must have let him in the room quickly and struck the deal. I'm not brave enough to let Kitaro in. Hmm. But he did let Kitaro in, but we know that through unnecessary means. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm just trying to think what could be the answer. He can't just be affirming KG and didn't. Hmm, wait. No, you were brave. No, that was... That was stupid. Miss Sarah, don't lump strangers in together with weirdly powerful high school girls like yourself. What do you mean, weirdly powerful? Dagnabbit. Exactly, you're frail, so. You surely wouldn't have that courage. Dagnabbit. I can't upset the balance. Let's start over. Huh. Kitaro couldn't do the third trade. Yes, that's true. How did he know about the sacrifice? Okay. Did he learn via hacking? Yes, you took a peek. Precisely. You saw it directly. Kitaro's intent was to negotiate with So. And as a condition for his trade, he showed So his sacrifice card. It's natural to think that. Such an act of imagination, Miss Sarah. How about you, you, how about you use that imagination to consider what their negotiation was like? Kitaro started to negotiate outside So's bedroom door. Yes, we've already confirmed that. Aha! Uh -huh, that's right. How did So react to Kitara's proposition? He must have let him in the room quickly and struck the deal. Uh, let's see. Let's deny. No, I'm sure So was on guard. Kitaro had taken the laptop from him once before. So wouldn't let him in the room, no questions asked. Then they did make a deal through the door. <laughs> How amusing. I just thought of a way. Kitaro slept the tablet under the door. Wouldn't he consider I might betray him? Hmm. Let's affirm this. That's exactly it. That's what Kitaro did to propose his deal. So it must have been fairly wary of Kitaro, who could best him using force. So Kitaro informed him that he was the sacrifice in advance. Not vocally, but by showing him his tablet. Hmm. So, you've had yet another objective on top of those tokens in Sarah's folder. To control the sacrifice as you wanted. <laughs> you got it. After that second trade, me and Kana were working on the escape plan. Then I heard Kitaro through the door. Wanna make a deal, he said. I didn't care to listen, but he slid his tablet under the door. And there I saw it. Sacrifice. How brave of them to go as far as offering up info just so I'd share the laptop. What do you know? Hm? Sarah. You saw that first floor security footage, right? 
Well, it's the truth. I haven't discussed my first trial, have I? It was one absurd trial, I tell ya. They told me, set up the props used for the death game. Then, it's true, you set up the cards? Yeah, of course, I didn't know what they meant. Once I found out, I knew Kai's fate was set. It's like I killed him. Kai took the Sage card. I just placed it random. That's why I at least wanted to get Kai's laptop back one more time. Such an emotional story. So that's what drove you to give me a whole hundred tokens. One hundred, Nyao! That's enough for two trades. Are you insane? But you left yourself enough for just one trade. How cunning. Pretending to risk your life, but not forgetting to protect yourself. What a dirty adult you are. Say again? All told, you left yourself an escape route. If you were in a pickle, you could pass the sacrifice away from yourself. That's why I decided to act first and send the sacrifice to someone else. To Miss Sarah, always thinking of her allies. Is that the truth of third trade? Is that the truth of the third trade? <laughs> I was hopeful it might make you tear off your sheep's clothing. Why does he do all this to me? But you went above and beyond my expectations. Huh? The fourth trade was you, wasn't it, Miss Sarah? Um... What do you mean by that? I mean the sacrifice is what killed Joey, yes? Uh, let's see. Uh, I didn't have any tokens, he's gonna say. You went to Reckless Place. Uh, I didn't do any trade. When did the fourth trade happen? The third trade, I believe, happened... No, the fourth trade happened while we were on the stairs. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. The first trade was giving us the key master. The second trade was giving Kitaro the sacrifice. The third trade was giving us was giving us the sacrifice. The fourth trade, we don't know what happened. The fifth trade, we lost the sacrifice. What was going on during the fourth trade? I think this is the right answer. Your guess is off the mark there. I didn't do any trades. In fact, I couldn't because I don't have the tokens. That's a poor excuse. Quiet, loner. I was with Big Miss Sarah. I was with Big Sarah Sarah for the fourth trade, woof. So was I. Sarah didn't do any trade then. Hmm. Well then, it must have been an ally who did it for you. KG, you took the sacrifice from Miss Sarah, didn't you? What? What's the meaning of this? It's really very simple. The two of them were accomplices. I love the evil smiles they put on us. Ahem? Miss Sarah and Keiji informed a terrifying plan involving the sacrifice. To achieve victory in the main game by way of said sacrifice. They schemed to escape by working together and having KG win the vote. I suspect the fifth trade that followed was Miss Sarah and KG making a bluff. They just picked two random commoners to have trade. Then you say KG Shiongi has the sacrifice. Or KG Shinogi has the sacrifice. That's all a wild fabrication! I mean, the sacrifice. I had was taken away by the fifth trade. So spouting nonsense to lead everyone by the noise, by the nose. <laughs> if my reasoning is correct. KG is the sacrifice, and the sage is Miss Now, perhaps. Uh, I'm the sage? Yep. So it may well be fine to have Miss Now die this time. Oh, wait a second. 
at the start, you said you were the sacrifice. Yep, that was a lie. I'm a commoner. N no way, then wouldn't you in the same... Wouldn't you in the same boat as me? Huh, I see. Guess choosing anybody but Keiji is the same in the end. Then let's vote for Kana, since she has the least val- she sees the least valuable. Uh, so... Enough. Hmm? It's been a long time since I've hated somebody this much. Here's a friendly little police report. I long since used up all my tokens. <laughs> and you want me to believe that? So, you're just dying to say I ended up being the sacrifice, aren't you? Disclosure, DCE Keymaster. Unfortunately, I'm the Keymaster. Huh? What are you saying? The Keymaster is Kitaro, though. Looks like we got him good. Sage. My real role is the Sage. Kitaro's the Sage? <coughs> Ridiculous! That's impossible! It's possible, alright. And as the Sage, I'm making an announcement. Keiji's without a doubt the Keymaster. It... It can't be true. That's all... <laughs> You were right on the right track to think accomplices. But it wasn't Sarah and I teamed up with. It was Kitaro. <laughs> Let's tell the truth on the fourth trade, shall we? The trade between Mr. Policeman and Kitaro. First, when So betrayed me with the sacrifice, I went stomping around in our age. When I heard what happened, I proposed to Kitaro that we team up. And so, in the fourth trade, you two traded your cards. That fourth trade sure ended up punishing the loner, Meow Meow. Oh, hold, hold on. Kitaro, weren't you passed out during the fourth trade? <laughs> All right. Pop, 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 pop. And so, the Keymaster went home. So, the fourth trade. Ponder the fourth trade. It happened when we were in the Sapphalin's doll room, looking for Ranger's chip. Did Keiji and Kitaro become accomplices and make this trade? For now, I want to piece this together. I need to extract info from the fourth trade. Okay. So, we started here. First, second, third, fourth trade. Somebody on the, on the fifth trade... Yoinked the sacrifice. Okay, let's take a look around. When I learned about the sacrifice incident, I proposed to Kitaro that we team up. That said, when I first spotted him, I just pacified him since he was pretty upset. But I ended up talking with Kitaro and we thought things over. In the fourth trade, I traded my card with Kitaro's key master. But actually, I went and did this trade myself while Kitaro was passed out. Seems Kitaro figured it out during the main game and was able to put the story together. It's all owed to the power of that card, even my noticing the of Kitaro's keymaster. Okay. That fourth trade sure ended up punishing the loner, meow. I'm sure Mr. Policeman was burning with desire to see justice carried out, Meow. He used a whole 50 tokens to trade cards with Muscle Gorilla just to defeat the loner, Wolf. Huh? Before Mr. Policeman said he didn't have any tokens at the fourth trade, Meow. Then he couldn't have traded, Wolf. Mmm. And so in the fourth trade, KG Shinogi and Kutaro Hamburger traded their cards. Why you? Can't you make a proper trade, KG Shinogi? Keiji Shinogi, dagnabbit. It's such a habit now. First, when So betrayed me with a sacrifice, I went stomping around in a rage. Seeing you act funny, Sarah was convinced. 
They're seeing you act funny. Sarah, I was convinced the sacrifice had moved to you. I wouldn't let it stand. I decided I'd knock him down and take my tokens back. Keiji noticed me then and came to talk. He persuaded me to give it up. Didn't know that's what So was thinking after all. And so I trusted Keiji and had him take custody of all my remaining tokens. All of them? Okay. So... This explains... So... Gin had a complaint, but Kitaro just explained it. Hold on, Kitaro. Weren't you passed out during the fourth trade? I mean, Keiji could do the trade himself, but... But... Uh, um... Is he panicking? He hasn't worked out his logic. Uh-huh. A tablet you can use to check your roll card. Found it next to the fainting guitar in the rubble room. Okay. Now let's ponder the fourth trade. It happened when we were in Saplin's doll room looking for Ranger's chip. Okay, I apparently haven't figured it out yet. So, let's do Kitaro. I gave my KG my tokens. And use it against... Mr. Policeman didn't have tokens. You gave him all your tokens, Meow? Sure did. And seems like that landed way outside So's ballpark. Shut up! Running out of leeway, are we? I've, I've, I've still got doubts. I can't be convinced with just that. After all, Keiji, why were you able to know about Kitaro having the Keymaster? Isn't the only way to do that during the main game with a sage's power of clairvoyance? Huh? So you still don't know? Okie dokie, let's resume the discussion. We were able to extract the new statement from So. I just have to keep going. Mm hmm Seeing through the two... Uh, seeing through to who the Keymaster is isn't the only way to do during the main game. Isn't the only way to do that during the main game with the Sage's power of clairvoyance. No, it is not. Uh, <clears throat> it's all owed to the power of that card, even my noticing of Kutaro's Keymaster. Hmm, did I say anything strange? You notice Kutaro's Keymaster. Keiji noticed something was up with me, and I handed Keiji all my tokens. Sure, sure enough, seems like I got knocked out and was taken out in advance. Hum. What a rash gorilla, Wolf. Uh, something doesn't seem right. You say, even noticing of Kitaro's Keymaster. Oh, ho, 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 You couldn't have noticed Kitaro's Keymaster, because I have the tablet. I bet you that's it. Something the matter? Dag, nabbit. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Dagnabbit. I'm so confused. Uh, Dagnabbit. Dagnabbit. Isn't the only way to do that during the main game with the Sage's power of clairvoyance? Let's just say... Noticing of Kitaro's Keymaster. And use it against... The only way is to see it. And it's like, no power of that card, you don't mean... Hmm? Yeah, the sage is clairvoyance, of course. The, the sage could use clairvoyance even outside the main game? What's the tab? That's what the tablets are for. You intentionally didn't mention it. <laughs> Unraveled all the mysteries now. This should prove it. Mr. Policeman used clairvoyance to seek Utaro's key master. Then I made the fourth trade to swap Kitaro's Keymaster and my Sage. 
And now there isn't even a need to discuss the fifth trade anymore. Convinced of your victory earlier, you confessed I'm a commoner. <laughs> Any other questions? No, there's something odd about Keiji's story. It'll become clear if I look back at the trades so far. The card I had at first was commoner. Keiji's was the key master. And in the first trade, the key master was sent to me, and my commoner was sent to Keiji. Yeah, Keiji couldn't possibly have the sage. Keiji can't have the sage because he got our commoner, and then Kutaro got somebody's sacrifice. The next trade, the second trade, the sacrifice went to Kitaro, and his commoner went to someone else. Next, the third trade. So initiated the trade that sent me the sacrifice and Kitaro the key master. And the fourth trade. The key master went to Keiji and the sage to Kitaro. It's impossible because Keiji did not have a Sage to give. Sure enough, the part that's strange is the Sage card. That's right, the Sage is out of place. Keiji should have been a commoner that whole time. So why did Keiji have the Sage at the time of the fourth trade? That must mean... He's lying about having the Sage now. Yep. Because his first card was the Key Master. He traded with us and gave us the Key Master. No, that's not it. Because Keiji was able to see that Kitaro had the Key Master. So it's true that he had the Sage, but the trades don't make sense like this. That must mean. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Keiji was the Sage and he stole someone's Key Master and gave it to us. He didn't give away his Key Master. He stole someone else's. I get it now. Keiji's first card being the Key Master was a lie. Keiji had the Sage at the beginning. And so his clairvoyance let him see who had the Key Master from the beginning too. Which is why in the first trade he could make me and the person with the Key Master trade. But if he did that, hasn't he been lying to me this whole time? Are... Are you really gonna vote for So? Miss Now? Miss Now? Why do you seem troubled by the idea of voting for So? Why? Did you really want us to vote for someone else? If we know that either Kutaro or the policeman are the key master and we're almost positive that it's the policeman. And you're upset that we're voting for So. Either you believe he really is the sacrifice, or the sacrifice is you. No? S something's not right. We should discuss this a little more. Stop it. Aren't you a candidate? You won't have to get picked. Uh, I'm afraid too, but I just get a weird feeling. Are we sure so is a commoner, and that KG is the key master? Hmm... Yeah, something's odd. You're exactly right, there are still mysteries remaining. In the fifth trade, why did someone trade for the sacrifice I had? And the other party was a commoner. This isn't a problem we can ignore. Yeah, meow. This fifth trade, we should talk about it some woof. If by any chance we pick the sacrifice, we're done for, you know. We shouldn't need any more discussion. KG? Digging up old conclusions is just gonna make us more lost. It's your turn to die, so... <clears throat> it's your turn to die, so... That's how it'll end. <laughs> no. We can't do that, Keiji. As long as we have time, we should seek the truth. 
All right. Let's do it. We'll discuss the roles of the four who were in the final vote. There's someone who moved from Sarah's sacrifice via the fifth trade. <laughs> if Keiji Shinogi is the key master, the sacrifice should be so, Kana, or now, yes? Yeah, because... Well, unless the sacrifice is someone who didn't get picked, and they're just all grumpy about it, so they're not talking. And, uh, because they're gonna die anyway, and so they're letting everybody freak out. Is the loner really a commoner, meow? Should we believe that, Wolf? It's all right. So was convinced the whole time that Sarah traded away the sacrifice. In other words, Kana or Now, which of them would have the sacrifice? I don't believe it. Keiji and Kitaro are lying. Hmm. Kana or Now, which of them would have the sacrifice? It's just painful to think it over anymore. Vote for So, and let's end this, Sarah. So was convinced the whole time that Sarah traded away the sacrifice. That's to say, So fell for Keiji's trick. The location of the sacrifice or any other card, he didn't know one lick about the truth. If he'd stolen my tablet when we, he knocked me out, maybe he could have learned my card. But I kept it on me at all times to avoid just that. Kept it tucked beneath my clothes. So didn't you have a chance to do Tom Foolery. He's a commoner. His tablet, huh? Uh, that's something important. Because he says I kept it tucked away, and so didn't have a chance to see it. But somebody had a chance to see it, because it was on the ground. If Keiji Shinogi is the key master, the sacrifice should be so Kana right now. If so, Hiori's unrest is genuine, was it Kana Kizuichi? Is the loner really a commoner, Meow? Should we believe that, Wolf? What if it's all of the loner lying, Wolf? Well... I mean, we know the loner. Him not being able to refute anything is weird, Meow. Could it be he's actually accomplices with Bucket Girl and putting on an act, Meow? Is the policeman really the key master? Isn't there something strange here? Is there any possibility that his key master was sent somewhere else at some point? Kitaro's sage power should let him see that Keiji's the key master. Then is it is that possibility zero? Hmm. We still have this tablet. I know it's weird. Okay, let's take the tablet. I kept my tablet on me at all times, so it didn't have a chance. Wrong. He did have a chance. Kitaro, you're saying you had your tablet on you at all times, yes? Yep, take a look, it's right here. And when you woke up, where was it? Hmm? On the table in the last supper room. On the... table? I'd call that being off you, Meow. As I thought, that tablet Kitaro has now is a spare. This tablet I picked up was lying near you when you were passed out. What'd you say? I would assume this is Kitaro's original tablet. The question is, why was it lying on the floor? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. hmm. Let's see. I think it's this. So it took it. It's because So took the tablet from Kitaro. Huh? But they're locked by fingerprints, Wolf. Sure, but while near him, he could bypass that by simply pressing the fainted Kitaro's finger to it. And so we arrived at an outrageous truth. What do you mean by that? Depending on when So looked at the tablet, he might have seen through our entire strategy. What? The worst time for it would be after the fourth trade. That's when Kitaro had the Sage and I had the Key Master. If he saw the tablet then, he could use Kitaro's Sage power to also know I was the Key Master. So... Has So just been acting fooled? <laughs> Shoot. You got me. 
<laughs> or not. Wonder if I'm acting right now, or maybe I'm telling the truth. So... Not good. Now there's the possibility that So has the sacrifice. It's not good. We shouldn't vote for So Hiori. Guess not. You can vote for Kana or Miss Now, whichever you like. Why you? Oh. oh. Well then, let's resume the discussion, guys. We'll discuss who it's safe to vote for. We gotta find the one with the least chance of having the sacrifice. So Hiori must be avoided at all costs, for we don't know what he is thinking. But between the Bucket Girl and Big Sis now, there's... Is there really any difference, Wolf? You'd need a certain amount of tokens to take the sacrifice from Sarah in the fifth trade. Hmm... Okay. If you consider the token counts, you'll get your answer. Kana is the most likely to have the sacrifice. Because Kana is, th is the one who had more tokens. But between the Bucket Girl and Big Sis now, is there any real difference, Wolf? Now, now stayed around with Reko for a long time, so maybe now stole Reko's tokens. All I can think of is the tokens, Meow. Bucket Girl had a lot, and Big Sis now only had a little, Wolf. What are we doing now, Meow? Yeah? Tokens. We gotta find the one with the, uh, with the least chance of having the sacrifice. But I don't know the aim of the one who did the trade. What possibilities are there? Okay. We just have to choose now. Between now and Kana. Hmm. If you consider the token counts, you'll get your answer. Uh, Bucket Girl has lots of tokens. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and save. All the way back to slot one. And let's do... Consider the counts. Like Gin says, now hardly had any tokens. Surely she couldn't have been the one to trade the sacrifice- to take the sacrifice from Sarah. Then, is now the one with the least likelihood? Oh, wait, please! This isn't right! B Big Sis now? Oh, wow, that was a terrible game voice, sorry. B Big Sis now? Uh, least likelihood? Uh, are you going to kill me with such vague reasoning? <sighs> B please, have another discussion. You're right, we can't end this discussion. Y y you what are you saying? I just remembered something. There was a way anyone could get tokens. Miss Sarah, you know it too, don't you? A way for anyone to get tokens. From Reko's body. By stealing tokens from Reko's body. I knew you could do it. Big... Big Sis now wouldn't do such a thing, Meow. But it's true. When I went to check the body, the tokens were already gone. And now was closely inspecting the Room of Lies. Nah. It ain't just now who could have done it. Couldn't any of us have gotten no tokens? In other words, everyone has the potential to possess the sacrifice. <laughs> It all ends with the game of trust. Then the last action is going to be the key. What were each of us doing at the time of the fifth trade? As in... Just before the main game started, whoop. As in just before the main game started, whoop. <laughs> Hope you can find the sacrifice.
progress. We have to determine, based on So, Kana, and Now's actions at the time of the fifth trade. I was sitting on the stairs, thinking back on everything that had happened. I was on the laptop in the winner's room the whole time. Will you believe that? Ka Kana wasn't really doing anything, just wandering absent-mindedly. Did anybody see what the three of you were doing? What the three were doing? I was moving rubble with Keiji Shinogi. I didn't see what those three were up to. I was searching all by myself to see if there were any other exits, Meow. Okay. So, I think most everyone has said the truth. I was in the laptop in the winner's room the whole time. Will you believe that? There was a ring up box in the winner's room. There was also a ring up box right in front of me. <laughs> what do you think, Miss Sarah? I can't take So's claim seriously. We have to determine based on So, Kana, and Now's actions at the time of the fifth trade. Your friendly policeman was shoving aside rubble. I don't know a thing. Kana wasn't really doing anything, just wandering absent mindedly. Kana, why aren't you speaking? Are you hiding something, Kana? Eh. Wait. Come to think of it, I feel like you were the only one I didn't see around then. Really? Where were you? I, I mean... Uh, I was looking for something I dropped. Something she dropped? Hmm. What could you have dropped? I was looking for something I dropped. I wasn't able to find it in the end. We just ran out of time. I was moving rubble with Keiji Shinogi. I didn't see what those trades were up to. What those three were up to. I rested for not a second while moving that debris. All I can prove is Keiji Shinogi's alibi. I was searching all by myself to see if there were any other exits, Meow. I didn't see those three, Meow. Sorry, Wolf. Kind of think of it. Didn't you tell me you found something while searching? Yeah, yeah. There was a smartphone on the stairs, Wolf. What? But it wouldn't even make calls. It was useless for escape, Meow. Okay. I know what it is. But let's go listen to these other two while we're at it. I, I was sitting on the stairs, thinking back on everything that had happened. The hope of escape had vanished. I couldn't even stand up. Everything I'm saying is true. Sarah, please believe me. Did anybody see that the three were doing? If only I hadn't passed out. Smartphone on the stairs, store statement. I was looking for a thing, apply, store statement. Kana, was it a smartphone you lost? Uh, how did you know? Sure enough. I bet it's the same smartphone I found in Kana's first trial room. Gin, tell me, where did you pick that up? It was on the way down the stairs, Meow. Uh. Ah, sheesh. She must have dropped it while we were all climbing the stairs, surely. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> Are you protecting Kana, so? Me? Stick up for Kana? Think back for me. When we were climbing the stairs, So and Kana were walking in front. If she had dropped the phone, then everyone should have noticed. Uh. In short, this was only dropped after we all climbed up to the exit. Kana dropped it while descending the stairs. 
What did she descend for? Why did you try to hide this, Kana? Because... Big Sister Sarah, there's a message on this phone, Meow. Right, that's what Kana's sister. Thank you, I love you, sister. Now it's Kana's turn to protect her big sister, because that's how Kana can atone. It's a different message. And it says it's Kana's turn to protect her big sister. And Kana's new big sister is Big Sis Sarah. Kana is in league with So. And Kana knew that So gave us the sacrifice. And she decided to take it from us. Thank you. I love you. Sister. Now it's Kana's turn to protect her big sister. Because that's how Kana can atone. This... Uh, please give it back. Hold on. Did you write this, Kana? But Kana's big sister is already dead. Could it be the sister in this message is... No way. It's me. Surely not. Is that right, Kana? Your sister's here is me? Yes. <laughs> I, I know it's strange. But Kana... To Kana, you're... And so you wanted to save Sarah that much. Yes. Hey, Kana. Was it you who traded away Sarah's sacrifice? To avoid using the ring-up box in the winner's room, you return to the third floor to trade. Uh, hey now, you're talking like Kana's. Are you saying she took the sacrifice to protect Sarah? That's so... It's inconceivable. No, I don't want to conceive of it. Deny it, Kana. <laughs> what worthless reasoning. That's all a load of... No, it's all correct. Y you idiot! Don't say anything! Kana did the fifth trade. She won't hide the truth anymore. K Kana! Kana did it. She really did it, to protect me. Ah, oh, I know what this music means. This is like, facing despair kind of music. She took the sacrifice for herself. This just, the worst outcome. Such foolishness. So, you've caught on at some point, didn't you? That's why you were trying to move the votes towards Kana. Shut up! Since there was no other way for Kana to survive... I... Please wait! Will you listen carefully to what Kana has to say? Huh. Why is there water noise? With the fifth trade, Kana switched her card and Sarah's card. There it is. Once she knew escape wasn't possible anymore, she had no idea what to do. Then she looked at the phone. Seeing her sister's words calmed her heart. And she came to despise herself for not being able to do anything. This whole time, Kana had just kept betraying her sister, 
the others. Sarah. She just had the feeling that So had sent the sacrifice to Sarah. Kana doesn't get the complicated trade talk. She can't even reason out who gave who what. Even so, she was certain of just one thing. Because Sarah is so kind, she couldn't trade the sacrifice to anyone. Kana. 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 She didn't want to let Sarah die. And also, she didn't want to make So a murderer. <laughs> that seemed more painful to her than her own death. So she traded her commoner for Sarah's sacrifice. Kana. But... Commoner. The card she received was a commoner. What? What's going on here, Kana? Kana doesn't understand either. She's sure she traded cards with Sarah, but it wasn't the sacrifice. Unthinkable. What is Kana saying? It's all true. Please believe me. Oh. We'll have to have time to talk about Kana's statement. I can't believe the bucket girl wolf. She's lying to try and confuse us, meow. Well, maybe Kana just messed up who she was trading with or something. Some unique situation that caused the role to just disappear. Is that possible, I wonder? It was a machine error. Maybe the tablet's broke and trade went wrong. Duh, don't tell me. I wonder if so hacked the roll cards themselves. I don't know what to believe. I can't see through to the truth of their hearts right now. So we might just have to find the objective truth. The truth? Ah. Ah, now I wish I'd look at this. Kana tried to sacrifice herself by swapping my sacrifice with a commoner. But Kana says she received a commoner's card. Is it true or a lie or something else? Hmm. Hmm. Don't tell me. I wonder if so hacked the roll cards themselves. Some unique situation that caused the roll to just disappear. Is that possible, I wonder? Maybe the influence of So's hacking extended to the roll data or something. Some nice evidence would make that a whole lot more convincing. Too bad. Maybe Kana just messed up who she was trading with or something. I don't know how the ring-up boxes work, but... If you just trade saying names in the receiver, there could be mistakes. And yet my sacrifice definitely moved. Uh, if it ain't Kana's mistake, then... Maybe the floor master perfectly changed the destination. Something like that. Gashao changed the trade? Ha, come to think of it. Wasn't Miley talking about some transgression of Gasau's just before the main game? Hmm. So is spending some of his remaining time messing with a laptop in the winner's room, right? I wonder if he hacked the card the data then. Is that even possible? Because I mean. There isn't anyone but So who could cause an irregularity, is there? Someone who could cause an irregularity. It's Gashal. This is twice we've had evidence towards Gashal. I can't believe the bucket girl wolf. She's lying to try and confuse us, Meow. She's been betraying us over and over, Meow. She's even less trustworthy than the loner wolf. Don't trust that bucket girl, Big Sis Sarah. Hmm. machine error. Maybe the tablet broke and the trade went wrong. This is the truth. The truth can be very simple. So is hardly saying anything. I can't read his thoughts. Wasn't Miley talking about some transgression of Gashaus just before the main game? Sarah, how about it? Any revelations? Hold on. 
I need to watch some faces. Maybe so hacked it? No. No. I don't know what to do. Um. Okay, okay, I know what it is. Take a shell causing a transgression and use it on anyone who could cause an irregularity. There was a possibility. Something separate from So's hacking and an irregularity that def definitely occurred. The transgression by Floor Master Gashel. Eh? Excuse me? Remember what Miley said before the main game. Gashel, are you listening? You've really gone and mucked things up. You've made a flagrant transgression, one that shakes the very core of the main game. And despite being a huge transgression, it hasn't shown itself at all thus far. Hmm. And now, this illogical movement of the cards that's tormenting us. Could this very issue be Gashou's transgression? If we believe Kana, that's the only explanation. So Uncle Crabstash manipulated the movements of the cards, Mio? But for the Floor Master, would that merit of doing- what would be the merit of doing that? Well... Hmm... There's some merit. There was some sort of merit, and that's why Gashal pushed us through the argument. I see. If his goal could be made clear, maybe we'd know. Who he moved the sacrifice to, that is. Hmm, quite off the mark interference. Uh, quite off the mark inference. It is all right for you to be busy. Is it all right for you to be using your time on this? Gashal. If you haven't engaged in any misconduct, then promise us. Hmm. I know the Floor Master's code. If we can expose your transgression, this main game won't count. Oh, is that it? Round two is to break the main game. We demand a second attempt 24 hours later. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you just know everything, don't you? As to be accepted from Miss Sarah Chidwin. Promise or no promise, I will simply carry out my duty as per the code. Who? Are you for real? He said it. With 24 hours, we could even reattempt our escape. But are you certain? If you cannot prove it, you will only be losing time to spend on other reasoning. It's okay. This new possibility was spun. This theory wasn't being discredited by Gashel. So, please tell us the truth. The other possibility is that you did some sort of hacking of the roll cards. If we know whether the claim is true or not, we can fight. Let's all combine forces and win an extension. Kana. I yes You really don't have the sacrifice? It's okay. Kana really doesn't have the sacrifice. I see. I... I didn't access the roll cards. I didn't do any hacking to them. Boy, so is such a mess. But he's so interesting. And like, I feel like he's being in earnest right here. So. <laughs> That's the truth, Miss Sarah. No lies, no tricks. All right, let's quit deceiving each other. Let's work to expose Gashou's transgression. Just what I wanted to hear. This is a tur- Ooh, it's a brand new song, by the way. This is a turning point in our destiny. A path we could never have reached if we were trapped by endless suspicion. 
the path of us all trusting each other and battling the kidnappers head on. Together we'll expose Gesho's misdeed. Oh, I cut it off too soon. Oh, <laughs> new background. The game has changed. Gesho had something to gain from tampering with the trade. Perhaps he sent the sacrifice towards someone who he wanted to kill. Or else you think there was somebody who Gesho didn't want to die. Is there an answer in the clues we have left? There's a fundamental issue. Maybe the sacrifice wasn't actually sent to anybody. Yep. This is the same song, except it's been remixed. Oh man, I love it. All right. The game has changed. But unfortunately, we're going to have to finish this later. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you've had a lovely time. Please leave me a like and a comment, subscribe, and, you know, ring that bell. Do all the things. Do everything in your power to make sure you have some kind of contact with me. Because I love hearing from you. And I want you to do it all the time. Now, man, there's some interesting stuff going on. It's really cool to see So kind of acting in earnest with us. It's really cool to see what's been going on with Gesho and, uh, and with all these different characters. And I really felt like Now had it. And then I really felt like Kana took it. And it seems like Kana did try to take it. But she just failed. It wasn't there anymore. And so now we've just got to figure out what did Gashou do, prove it, and then hopefully win a day. Because the team is no longer in this death game against each other. Now, it's a fight for victory. <laughs> it's very, very interesting and very, very cool. Let's see what happens. But we'll have to see what happens next time. I know you're going to miss me, but try not to miss me too much, okay? Bye!